Ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the recruit training unit, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now take command of the parade. The parade will now receive the parade host, Acting Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts, Education and Training. She'll be met by the Commander, Recruit and Policing Skills, Superintendent Andy Morrow. The arrival now of the Acting Commissioner of Police, Mr. Steve Golcheski. He'll be greeted by the parade host, escorted to the dais and received by the parade with a general salute. The parade will now receive our principal official guest, the Honourable Mr Jack Dempsey, MP, Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services. He will be met by the Acting Commissioner, escorted to the dais and accorded a general salute by the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Australian National Anthem. Police officers in uniform and other uniform personnel are requested to salute. Australians, oh, let us rejoice for we are young and free with golden soil and wealth but so our home is girt by sea our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare in history's page let every state Advance Australia fair in joyful strains and let us sing. Advance Australia fair. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated.
Undoubtedly, the highlight of our program is the imminent induction into the Queensland Police Service of the recruits on parade. I know that many of you have travelled long distances to be here for that very reason. Before a person begins to perform duty, there is a formal process to be applied in accordance with the Police Service Administration regulation. This practice requires the individual member to place his or her loyalty to our Sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. He or she then signs the oath or affirmation of office in the presence of a commissioned officer of the service. This segment, referred to as an induction, is the transition from the learning environment to being a sworn officer in the Queensland Police Service. As part of the procedure, each member is presented with a wallet containing his or her identity card and official badge. Table officers, please fall in. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the administration of the oath and affirmation of office. I invite my colleagues to reaffirm their allegiance to our sovereign by reciting the oath or affirmation of office in unison with the recruits on parade. Preface by the word I, state your given names and surname in full. You are to repeat your oath affirmation of office after me. Swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve my sovereign Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law in the office of constable, or in such capacity as I may be appointed, promoted, or reduced, without favour, affection, malice, or ill will, from this date until I am discharged, that I will cause Her Majesty's peace to be kept and preserved. that I will prevent to the best of my power all offences against the same, and that, while I am a member of the Queensland Police Service, I will, to the best of my skill and knowledge, discharge all duties legally imposed upon me. Faithfully and according to law. So help me God. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Please be seated. Table officers, please be seated. Today we are inducting 82 recruits into the service. They commenced training here at the Oxley Academy on the 28th of October 2013. Their training included instruction in the areas of law, policy and procedures, driver training, physical skills education, computer training and firearms and officer safety.
The parade sergeant for today's parade is Senior Sergeant Peter Hogan. Peter commenced his career in policing in 1994 and has performed duties as a general duties officer, an investigator within the criminal investigations branch, the juvenile aid bureau, tactical crime squads, and as a tactician in Brisbane West. Peter's been involved in training as an operational skills, firearms and taser instructor over the past 10 years, and is currently on secondment to the academy as an intake coordinator. The banner party for today is composed of facilitators from the recruit training unit. The privilege to carry the banner is given to Sergeant Verity Partridge. The escorts for the banner are Sergeant Kath Brady and Sergeant Graham Steger. The facilitators involved in the training of the graduating groups are police officers with operational experience and staff members who have an academic background with the skills required to teach in accordance with the education requirements for this training establishment. We would like to acknowledge our award recipients on their achievements during the recruit program. These recruits are Rhys Ma, Brett Young, 
Michaela Gray, Brock Anderson, Luke Swinglehurst, James Lay, Daryl Mason, and Mark Dowsett. Congratulations to all our award recipients. Today, the graduating constables are also being presented with the Queensland Police Service 150 year citation, which will be worn on their uniform. The shades of blue and white denote the traditional colours recognised worldwide, with the wording Queensland Police inscribed above the colour and the numerals 1864 to 2014 written below. Ladies and gentlemen, police officers often talk about the police family. Well, today we have inducted seven constables whose fathers are also police officers. We've also inducted Constable Callum Jones. Callum's father, David Jones, is a current police recruit who is scheduled to be inducted as a police officer in September. This is the first time that a father and son have been undergoing police recruit training at the same time in our history. Our next parade, will take place on the 12th of June, 2014, here at the Tom Malloy Parade Ground. On that parade, we expect to have 94 recruits inducted into the service and four police dogs. Table officers, please fall out.
Ladies and gentlemen, Acting Commissioner Golshevsky will now present the Executive Award. This honour is given to the individual who has achieved excellence, competency and professionalism in the recruit program. Assessment is accredited on individual conduct, leadership qualities, skills performance, academic results and commitment to the ideal principles of service to the community. The Commissioner's Award recipient for Intake 8 of 2013 is Constable Rhys Ma. Ladies and gentlemen, Constable Ma. <laughs> the Queensland Police Service Statement of Ethics supports our vision and purpose, priorities and qualities of the organisation, namely courage, fairness and pride to deliver quality policing services. It is a commitment that every member of the service undertakes in accordance with the standard of practice the code of conduct and the functions of the service. The statement of ethics is a standard expected by the Commissioner of Police, colleagues and community and an acceptance by the individual to practice high standards of conduct and behaviour as a police officer both on and off duty. I now invite Constable Ma to adopt the Statement of Ethics on behalf of the Constables on Parade. On behalf of the new Constables, I'm pleased to adopt this Statement of Ethics. As a member of the Queensland Police Service, I have a duty to protect life and property, preserve the peace, prevent offences, detect and apprehend offenders and help those in need of assistance. At all times, I will carry out my duties without fear or favour, malice or ill will. I will act honestly and with the utmost integrity. I will make every effort to respect and uphold the rights of all people in the community, regardless of race, social status or religion. I will strive for excellence and endeavour to improve my knowledge and professionalism. I will keep confidential all matters which I may learn in my official capacity except as necessary in the course of my duties. I will practice self-discipline in deed and word both on and off duty. I will resist the temptation to participate in any activity which is improper or which can be construed as being improper. I will not misuse my office for personal gain. I will accept responsibility for my own actions and for acts which I may order. I accept the desirability of these ethics as an integral part of my personal and professional life. Thank you, Constable Ma. Senior Police Chaplain, Reverend Graham Ramsden, will now offer the blessing. Lord God, we know that through establishing processes for justice, peace and good order, that a caring community works to keep safe those who are vulnerable and innocent. For this reason, we ask your blessing upon the newly graduated officers as they become sworn members of the Queensland Police Service. We thank you for their willingness to serve the community in this way, and we are thankful for the hard work and personal application they have given while preparing themselves for the duties of being a police officer. We pray that they may always exercise the powers of their office with responsibility and they may be aware of the influence they are entrusted with as police officers. Lord, empower these officers with courage when they are confronted by danger. Give them integrity when confronted with ethical choices. Endow them with compassion when assisting those who are suffering and victimised. Grant them impartiality when enforcing the law. 
and bless them with a willing gracious to accept assistance when needed. Be present for these officers in the challenges of their new profession so that at the end of every shift they may, with confidence and pride, know that they have served with honour. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Ramsden. Ladies and gentlemen, Acting Commissioner Golteski will now address the parade. Good afternoon. I acknowledge the Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services, the Honourable Jack Dempsey, MP. The Chief Executive Officer of the Public Safety Business Agency, Mr Kelvin Anderson. Deputy Commissioner Specialist Operations, Mr Ross Barnett. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of His Honour Justice David, Justice David Thomas and former Assistant Commissioner Mr Paul Wilson and his wife Angela who join us today for the induction of family and friends. Member of, members of the Queensland Police Executive Leadership Team. Senior officers and colleagues from the Q, Queensland Fire and Emergency Services, Queensland Ambulance Service, Australian Army, Royal Australian Navy and Australian Federal Police. Acting Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts, Executive Manager, Education and Training Command, Commission Officers, Retired Police Members, Distinguished Guests, Police Officers and Staff Members of the Queensland Police Service, Ladies and Gentlemen, and most importantly, our 82 Constables of Police who have just been inducted. Let me start with the apologies and best wishes of Commissioner Ian Stewart. It is with great pride and pleasure that I extend a warm welcome to families and friends of our graduating officers as they are appointed first year constables during this ceremony today. I thank you all and ask you to continue to support these fine officers during their careers as they serve in locations across this great state. From experience, I know the job is demanding, not only on the serving member, but also for families and friends. But I also know that the very real benefits in terms of places seen and lifelong friendships established. To the graduates, you are entitled to feel very proud of your achievements as today marks the end of your training and the beginning of so much more. Every police officer, retired and serving, in this place today remembers their swearing in parade like it was yesterday. Cherish the moment. Within this place, you have been inspired with high ideals and encouraged to achieve your very best in this honourable career. Your sense of duty, loyalty and service to all Queenslanders has been enhanced and strengthened. Remember, Queensland is a great state with great opportunity. You are well prepared for the challenges that lie ahead in your career as a police officer in a rapidly and changing environment. However, as that environment changes and new challenges emerge, you must always strive to be better. You are about to impress upon the community of Queensland your commitment to your oath of service. Enjoy it, make the most of the experience. You'll be stationed all over Queensland, including Northern Region in Cairns, Central Region in Serena, Mackay, Rockhampton, Gladstone, Emerald, Harvey Bay, Maryborough and the Sunshine Coast. In Brisbane, both North and South in southern region, in Caboolture, Toowoomba and Ipswich, and in southern southeastern region on the Gold Coast and at Logan. There are many expectations placed on the Office of Constable and it is the Commissioner's expectation that all our people work together every day to support each other to stop crime, make the community safer and build strong relationships. Delivering on these objectives requires people of the highest calibre and commitment with a unique combination of qualities such as, such as those held by, by those people before you today. As our newest constables, you should remember that you are now the public face of the Queensland Police Service and we expect all our people to act with courage, fairness and pride. You should always have the courage to always honour your oath of office and the statement of ethics that was adopted on your behalf by Constable Rhys Maher, who was the recipient of the Commissioner's Award. You should, you should display fairness and be professional at all times, acting objectively and without bias, remembering that every member of the public is 
is to be treated with dignity and respect at all times. Every interaction, interaction is an opportunity to build relationships and achieve a positive outcome. You should take pride and place high value on teamwork, people, performance, our partnership with the community. But policing can be a dangerous job. You need to accept that there is always an element of risk in police work. You will need to remain vigilant to minimise risk, avoid complacency, stay alert and be aware. You will see the good and bad sides of people. You will encounter some of the worst kinds of human behaviour, but I ask you always to remain positive. Stay focused and ensure your actions are always just and fair. At various points in your career, you will be all physically, morally and intellectually challenged. Have no doubt that if you were not up to that challenge, you would not be graduating today. I am extremely confident that the future of policing is in, is in good hands with the constables that are here in front of us today. Let me conclude by sincerely congratulating you all on your graduation. You follow in the footsteps of great officers who have set the standards of courage, fairness and pride. You will add to this rich history. Be confident that you are well prepared for your future and enjoy the challenges and opportunities in having one of the best careers in the world. Well done to you all and good luck. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now introduce our principal official guest, the Honourable Jack Dempsey. Acting Commissioner Steve Kolgeski, CEO of the Public Safety Business Agency, Calvin Anderson, Deputy Commissioner Mark Roach, Supreme Court Judge, Judge Dave Thomas, former Assistant Commissioner Paul Wilson and his wife. Paul, I'd just like to say thank you here. I haven't had the opportunity since you've left the service to thank you for your hard work, your dedication and your passionate uh, uh, support and continued support for the police service. Paul is Assistant Commissioner when I was a junior officer. He was one of those officers that I looked up to with a great ad admiration and it's great to see him here today supporting our new recruits that are coming through the Police Academy. Other commissioned officers, representatives from the Defence Forces and their representatives distinguished guests, Peter Flexman and the Pipes and Drums bands here, representatives from other police uh, forces across uh, this great nation, members from other communities, both in Australia and overseas, ladies and gentlemen and first year constables. It is a great honour to be here this afternoon on this sacred acre for the induction of these new 82 recruits, which will serve all the many parts of Queensland. Why I mentioned everybody here, including even the people up on, on the verandas up here, and I've said it before to the other recruits, is everybody here, including the police union, the commissioned officers union, the retired officers association, the police chaplains, all these people are here for one reason, and it isn't the weather, folks. It's here because they support you, they believe in you, and they wanna see you succeed. They know it's a difficult task. They know on your shoulders carries the weight of many other officers that have gone before you on this sacred acre and many officers that will come in the future. They know that you are the sign and symbol of the safety and security within Queensland. They also know from those signs and symbols that you are Queensland's finest. If it was easy to get uh, through this induction parade, everybody would be doing it but you are Queensland's finest, you have done the studies. I'd like to thank your instructors and all the other people who have assisted you through this uh, recruit phase and into being sworn in, because that's what the police force is all about. It's about being united, it's about being believing in what you're doing, it's making commitment and it's being unified. Because as the Acting Commissioner said in his words, you will see the best of the best, but you will see the worst of the worst. You made an oath today to serve the people of, of Queensland without fear, affection, malice or ill will. They are great words, 
But at the end of the day, it's your actions and how you fulfill that oath in your career which will be important. That oath and the swearing in now gives you the same authority as the highest person in the police service, the police commissioner. So when you leave this sacred acre here this afternoon, please bear in mind that you have the same authority to take the, the rights and freedoms away from a, from a Queenslander. And to do that, you have to make sure that you have ticked every box, you've crossed and dotted all your letters. It's not easy, is it? But the only way that you'll get through it is working together as a team and the training that you've received here. Will you make the right decisions every day? No, you're not, because at the end of the day, you're human. But you will make sure that you learn from that and go forward. Because the only way that you can get through the many years of service is by working together in that teamwork. And part of that teamwork is the people here today, your parents, your brothers and sisters, your loved ones, your friends. And that's why it's so important, because in those times, those low times, they will be there to support you, as will the police chaplains over here who do a great job right around the whole of the state. When we talk about good times, and it's a celebration today, I don't want to talk down so much, but I want to make and want to emphasise the seriousness of today. Just a little over 12 months ago, young Casey Blaine lost his life in far north Queensland from a uh, tragic uh, traffic accident. And a young constable I'm to meet in the coming days lost uh, half his leg in serving the people of Queensland. So it's not a job that is for the, uh, the light at heart. It is a very serious job. And on your shoulders comes the responsibility. And I just want to thank you for all the, the hard work that you are going to do, the, uh, the time that you're going to uh, sacrifice away from your families and friends serving the people of Queensland. And at times you're going to wonder what you've got yourself involved. But I can say to you, as the person who I spent nearly 20 years in the job, and there's no greater thing to serve other Queenslanders. It's something that will remain with you for the rest of your life. So I'd like to say thank you again on behalf of all Queenslanders. Wish you the best in your careers. Try everything, do everything you can, enjoy it the most, and welcome to the uh, Queensland Police Service family. All the best. So. Thank you, Mr. Dempsey. The parade will now retire and reform in preparation to complete the final segment of the ceremony. In the final manoeuvre of this ceremony, the parade will advance in review order. This movement involves the constables marching forward in line, concluding with a general salute. This is performed with no offensive spirit and is given as a mark of respect to the principal official guest, the acting commissioner of police and members of the senior leadership team. The parade commander, Inspector Aaron Carnes, will now resume command of the parade.
parade commander will now call for the parade sergeant and hand over command. Ladies and gentlemen, the Banner Party, accompanied by the Queensland Police Pipes and Drums, will now march off parade to Queensland Police 150. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. The constables started as a recruit intake in October 2013 and were trained in four individual groups. They will now form a united intake in preparation to serve the community of Queensland as police officers. The parade sergeant will now call for a member of the graduating intake to assume command of the new constables. This final gesture recognises the individual for displayed leadership throughout the training program. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the new constables of the Queensland Police Service. Before the new constables are dismissed, may I thank you once again for being here with us this afternoon. At the conclusion of the parade, please feel free to move on to the parade ground to congratulate the men and women who will now join their colleagues serving the people of Queensland in law enforcement. The parade host, Acting Chief Superintendent Platts, would then like to invite you for light refreshments to be served in the Academy dining room. On behalf of members of the Queensland Police Service Senior Executive, may I thank you for your attendance and wish you a very good evening and a safe journey home. Constable Gray will now lead the new members in thanking you in their own special way. She will then dismiss the parade.